All right, welcome back to Going Bush. Tourism time now, Hardy. And as you would well know, Forestry yes. Tasmania is a major player in this sector. That's right, Nick. There's attractions set up all over the state. They've been running for a few years now and they've been going very well. But now there's a new exciting opportunity for new ventures to tap into what Forestry's already set up. The history of Forestry Tasmania and tourism goes back to the early 1990s when a dwindling state economy saw the state government and forestry build various attractions around the state to try and drive employment. The most successful including the Tahoon Airwalk as well as a joint venture with Hollybank Treetops Adventure and the new Maydina Adventure Hub. Forestry Tasmania is now seeking to emulate the success of these joint ventures by offering to lease to new operators another of its tourist attractions, Tarkine Forest Adventures. We've already been to the market once with Tarkine Forest Adventures and we've been very surprised and encouraged by the level of interest in it. The same idea is behind the business model for Maydina Adventure Hub where forestry is partnering with other operators to breathe new life into the old timber town. We think our role now is to use that brand, to leverage off the brand, to give young entrepreneurs the chance to get a start in life. And Maydina, I think, is a classic example of uh, Forestry Tasmania using its brand to set up almost an incubator for business opportunity. And you'll see right through Maydina all these different little businesses starting to establish. The model at Maydina simply sees forestry partner with smaller operators to use its resources, take bookings and organise tours from the newly refurbished Adventure Hub building. There is opportunity now uh, for people to partner with FT using a big company's resources to, to break into the market. A classic example of that is an Australian first, the rail track rider. The idea came from overseas and uses old rail line which has sat disused for almost 20 years. Uh, now the only problem with your rail track rider and uh, oh, I don't and see any problems lovely with it. sort it's of a wilderness design. experience it stays on the tracks. is that um, one person, you do it as tandem, one person can put in what would be a reasonable amount of effort yeah. while the other person can, I guess bludge is probably the term for it. Sure. So if you're going to do this, do it with someone who you A, respect and B, trust. Yep. Very pretty, isn't it? We want to put Maydana back on the map like it was back in the early days, in the 60s, when Maydana was a thriving capital of, of the Don Valley. Another new attraction literally goes off with a bang. Ideal for groups or even large corporate days, Red Bank's Fish and Field normally operates its day-to-day -day business a few hundred kilometres away from Maydina at Nugent. But a partnership with Forestry now means for next to no expenditure, Red Banks can pick up new work in a new area. So that's the thing about Maydina, Hardy. It's yes, a yes. range of uh, range of activities and indeed opportunities, archery being just one of them. Yes, I'm going to... you get got to put the string on your nose. It's important. Oh, you right. missed the target. And that's nearly, a bullseye. You nearly got the target. It's very impressive. Thank you. Well, we started Red Banks off a few years ago with the intention of just uh, letting people try the sports that we've always had and enjoyed. So we started off with shooting and clay target shooting, and we've now gone to the stage where we've got 12 different sports, be it air rifle shooting, rifle shooting, slingshot, javelin, archery. So a whole range of sports that uh, let people enjoy doing sports that maybe they'd ne never done before. That is Olympic standard rifle shooting. I think it's Hardy. probably close, isn't it? Um, so, that's that's your target. Twenty-four points. Yeah, with a bullseye. Yeah, nice. This is mine. Nicely grouped, but uh, unfortunately twenty-one, which. You'd probably be taking it hard, given that you grew up on a farm shooting and all that. Oh, and I'm, to do a bit of shooting. Yeah, and I'm just a city slicker. Well, we find that people can be daunted by the thought of shooting, and that often happens. So we just we just go through the whole safety aspects and show that it's very safe than what we do. We, we touch wood, we've never had an accident, hopefully we never do. Uh, and we just show them the, the, the safety of how to handle a gun, how to shoot a gun, and how to be comfortable in handling a gun, and then to then go on and enjoy the shooting of it. <laughs> oh, 
Maydina Adventure Hub has around a dozen attractions from bushwalking or four-wheel driving tours to learning about the Tassie Tiger and also features Forestry Tasmania's own attraction, the spectacular Eagles Airy, where a short drive up a mountain reveals miles and miles of Tasmanian wilderness and working forest. The point of difference that Forestry Tasmania wants to bring to the tourism industry is to come out into the forest and to do things rather than just to look at things. And we think that's where our niche is. Adventureforest.com.au is a website we've established and that really is the epitome of the brand. It uh, gives people a range of opportunities, uh, a range of different activities across all of these different sites. So there should be something for just about everybody, right from soft adventure through eventually to hard adventure. Visit adventureforest.com.au to learn more about just what Forestry Tasmania and its partners have to offer. The website has everything you need to know as well as allowing you to book your adventure today.